Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the YouTube channel of JJ Prime Reviews. And today we'll be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy United Core Class Energon Universe. Megatron, yes, Lord Megatron himself. But he's a small little guy, isn't he? He's a very small little guy, but I do quite like him. But before we take a deeper look at this little guy, we're going to show off some various images of the packaging itself. So let's get it on, man. Let's go. And here we have little Megatron fully transformed into a Cybertronian jet mode. And yes, Energon is getting some love in this Legacy United line. And you know what? I'm very happy about this because I don't really own any of the Energon figures prior to this figure. <laughs> I, um, I wasn't really much of a collector back then when Energon came out. Uh, and of course, Energon is my least favorite TV show. I just, I don't know, man. That... Something about that show just doesn't scream good. <laughs> I mean, it's a fun show. I mean, I did enjoy watching it, but uh, I don't know. Kicker just... Uh, it's just Kicker, just... Kicker just ruined my enjoyment of the show, you know? He's just such an annoying human. <laughs> so... <laughs> but hey. But yeah. But hey, here. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Megatron is the first Energon figure in this Legacy United line and man he looks pretty good in his jet mode that that looks very uh, that looks very screen accurate to the animation model so yeah I gotta say Hasbro did a pretty pretty good job here with this figure so yeah very very nice very nice looking I got my, uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> got some nice paint work on the wings got the silver paint the blue paint you know it's painted over the uh, the green plastic that they used for the wings and you can see these uh, these cannons right here just picked out in green plastic and you got some nice paint work on the f nose cone of the jet and you can see the bottom of the jet mode you can see how everything works out so yeah I mean he's he's pretty much you know <laughs> a robot doing a weird yoga pose that's, that's basically what he's doing so yeah and of course you can bring the wings down all the way if you really want to but me personally I like to uh, bring up the wings a little bit so that's more accurate that way so um, one thing I really don't like about the jet mode is the visible fists right there um, wish they could have uh, hid the fists away a bit more but then you know it's a core class so there's nothing you can do about it it's a core class so it's a small budget to figure so <laughs> but there we go but there we go but yeah, all in all though, it's a very nicely done jet mode in my opinion, so let's bring in some size comparisons. Here is Energon Megatron compared with the previous core class of Megatron from Kingdom, so you can see how that works out. I mean, there was the, the G2 Megatron in Legacy as well, but you know, it's the same mold as this guy, so yeah. <laughs> no, he's the, the first core class Megatron and the third core class Megatron, so you can see how the two Megatrons Look together a tank and a jet, so there we go. Uh, moving on to the last size comparison for today. And here is Energon Megatron compared with the uh, previous incarnation of him from the Unicron Trilogy, Armada Megatron. Um, it's kind of cool that how he, uh, he managed to go from tank mode to the jet mode. <laughs> so, yeah, because the story is... Um, in Energon, you can see Armada Galvatron just being uh, buried in Unicron. Still buried in Unicron, he's still alive because he could still talk in there. Um, and it was still his Armada Galvatron design. But then when he got freed, he became this. He became uh, this this design here. So, so yeah, he changed design after he got freed from Unicron. So that is that's a pretty cool. Uh, plot there for Megatron's revival. So yeah, very nice, very very nice. So, so yeah. Now that I have two versions of the same guy from the Unicron trilogy, now I just need the Cybertron version. You know, to complete that, to complete that collection. But I do wish we can, I do hope we can get a, a bigger version of this character. You know, the the uh, leader class version of Energon Megs. Would love to have that, but. For now, I can enjoy the core class version. So, there we go. That's pretty much it for the alt mode comparisons right here.
Now before we transform this guy, we have to talk about the accessory that he includes. He includes a little tiny sword, which is based on his previous, you know, designs alt mode. You know, uh, the Armada Megatron tank mode, which is kind of cute. You can see all the all the details going on here. You can see. Let's just uh, do a quick comparison here uh, between Armada Megs and the uh, and the tank mode here, so you can see. So you can see the details <laughs> being carried over. I like that. I very much like that. That's cute. That is pretty, pretty cute. So, but yeah. Now you can actually store this tank sword in jet mode. There are two slots right in there, and there are two tabs right here. So just uh, you want to bring this in, and you want to tab this. In. Oh, I think the other way. Other way. Other way. Other way. I'm sorry. <laughs> Other way, there we go. That's how you store the tank sword in jet mode. Now he has a little tiny tank on top of the jet mode. Sure, <laughs> sure, but anyway, but there we go. That's the storage in jet mode. So, without further ado, let us transform this guy into his robot mode. Now, the transformation for this guy is very simple. You want to untap the legs here, you want to untap the legs. You gotta be very careful because sometimes the legs can pop up on you when you transform him. So just bring down the legs all the way and flip up the feet. Rotate them to the forefront and there you have a leg all done. Do the same thing on your side. Just bring this in, bring this down, rotate it around, flip up the feet and there you have the legs all done. Booyah! He's a PC. So there we go. Just rotate this whole section around. Then you wanna bring down the nose cone and whoops! Uh, yeah, these love to pop off. I mean, these are removable, so that's fine. It's okay. <laughs> there we go. Just rotate the arms around. Rotate the arms around. Rotate the arms. Around. Bring them down. Rotate it around. There we go. Last step is to rotate the head around. Rotate the head around. Stop. Stop popping off, man. Stop popping off. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> there you go. I think we're done. Yes, we're done. Woo, we are done. So there we go. There we have Energon Megatron. Fully transformed into his robot mode, and wow, he looks good. <laughs> he looks very, very good. You know, I I gotta say, I'm very impressed with this little guy. Very, very impressed with this little core class Megatron. Um, even though like the legs, the the tolerances for the legs, uh, they can pop up very easily. He's still a solid, solid figure here, in my opinion. Yeah, quite well done. Definitely very screen accurate here. Uh, definitely could have used a bit more paint to break up some colors, to break up the, the dark gray color here. Uh, but other than that, just very, very good. It's, he's, he's, he's accurate, you know, he's supposed to have the wings on this backpack, so it's pretty accurate. Pretty, pretty dang accurate, in my opinion. So we can see, let's just do a quick comparison between this and the animation model, and uh, yeah, I can definitely tell you that the uh, the core class Energon Megatron really it is really very screen accurate, like almost 100% screen accurate to the animation model right here. Very very cool. I, I gotta say, very very impressed with this one. So so yeah, very nice, very nice. You can see the head sculpt here. Now his head sculpt is that of the uh, G1. Galvatron design. I mean the whole whole robot mode is based on the G1 Galvatron design, but his name is Megatron, so I mean he did become Galvatron. He did he did become the traditional purple with the red abs <laughs> in the show, so so that's quite nice. And then we, and we are getting a uh, Galvatron version of this mold in the future, so I'm very excited to get that. So we because we need more Galvatrons in the collection here, so but yeah. Very, very cool. The Subticon symbol on the chest, blue abs. Blue fists, and you got some blue paint on the legs, and uh, all around is a very, very pretty clean transformation. I mean, he does have a backpack, but you know that's actually accurate to the design, and uh, yeah, very nicely done, I will say. Um, now he does have a little bit of articulation. He can rotate his head. He 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 can rotate a full 360. But sometimes it's kind of hard when you have these pauldrons uh, sticking out. Um, you can rotate the arms a full 360, and that 
just you know whatever. Um, you can rotate your arms a full 360. They're on ball joints. Can move in and out. You do have a elbow joint right here. There is a ball joint there, so you can do rotation. And you have the bend right there. Uh, nothing at the wrist. Um, nothing at the waist. Uh, the legs can move up that far, can move back that far. Uh, he can pretty much do the full splits. He does have a thigh swivel and he does have a knee joint. Uh, although a little bit loose because you know these these section, these legs are, are, are not the most solid, you know, they, they can't uh, they don't uh, they don't stay in very very well, but he does have a knee joint. So yeah. And the feet can move down due to transformation. And, you know, and his, his feet are molded in the uh, in the natural A stance pose. So, so yeah. All right, I need to get that other other uh, shoulder pauldron there. I'll be right back. All right, got it. I got it back. <laughs> uh, now let's talk about the usage of the weapons in in robot mode. And now I said weapons because the shoulder pauldrons can act as weapons as well. So you can actually. Uh, display them like this. You can display them like that. Have them pointing forward instead of pointing up. You know, if you really want to do that for your Energon Megatron, you can do so. Um, one thing that I really don't like about this. Um, why is this peg so tiny? Why is this peg so short? If it, I, I it, yeah, Hasbro. You could have, you know, made this peg a little bit longer so that when he holds them as weapons, as handheld guns, um, he don't, he, he, he won't drop them. You can see it's kind of hard to get them into his hands already. Um, so I don't know why. Um, definitely could have used a longer peg there to plug into the hand. You can see it's, it's already giving me some problems. There we go. It's already giving me some problems. I can get it on the one side, and from the other side, just just no. The other side is just no. See? <sighs> Sometimes you know, the, 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 yeah. Already already missing some points there, uh, Hasbro. Already missing some points when you make. You know what? I'm gonna do this off camera. I'll be right back. There we go. Oh, that 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 took a while. <laughs> but yeah, don't know why the. Uh, and of course the. Uh, yeah, sometimes the. Yeah, okay, there we go. Alright, so there we go. Yeah, he's holding the weapons up uh, barely. Um, so that that's another one of my main complaints with this figure. Um, the, the short pegs on the guns. Anyway, so yeah, you can give him handheld weapons if you really want to. And you can actually plug in some effects parts right here on the barrels if you want to. So yeah, but me personally, I'm just gonna leave this on here like that. You know, that way I don't have to remove these due, uh, during transformation. So yeah, I'm just gonna uh, leave it like that. Me personally. I think that looks better. I think that looks better. It give, gives his shoulders more character there, so. And of course I can use, I can uh, give him the sword here, the, 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 the sword here, and just plug into the, uh, the arm, plug into the side of his arm, and he's using the... Uh, like, an, uh, like a hand blade right there, like an arm blade, which is pretty cool. So yes, you can just slash some Autobots down to the death, you know? <laughs> so that's, you know, that, that's pretty cool. So yeah, there we go. That's, that, that, I think that's it for the robot mode there. So now, let us br uh, bring in some size comparisons. Here is Energon Megatron compared with the Kingdom Core Class Megatron. And here we have Energon Megatron compared with the Legacy Leader Class Armada Megatron. And uh, <laughs> you see, you see, uh, you see, you see what I'm saying? We need a bigger version of Energon Megatron, like the Leader Class version, please, please, to scale better with the Armada Megatron here. And of course, we need a Leader Class Cybertron Megatron. You know, we know that Cybertron Starscream is getting a figure, so why not Cybertron Megatron? Please, please, we need. We need a Cybertron Megatron to complete the trio of the, of the Megatrons from Unicron Trilogy. So, but there we go. You can see how the two Unicron Trilogy Megatrons look together. I mean, it's the same guy, but different design, different look. So, yeah. But there we go. That's pretty much it for the robot mode comparisons right here. Okay, so here are my final thoughts on the Transformers Legacy United Core Class Energon Megatron. Now, 
Even though I do quite like this figure, I do have some minor complaints with this guy. Um, the short pegs on the guns, I don't, don't like that one bit. Not a big fan of that, unfortunately. You know, they could have done better with that. You know, longer pegs with a gun so that he can hold them properly and hold them fully. But oh well, it is what it is. Um, definitely could have used a bit more paint, you know, the, the, the lack of paint here and there, like the knees, you know, and, and a bit more on the wings, would have gone a long way, or maybe more paint on the weapon, on, on the tank sword here, would have gone a long way. Um, uh, the the uh, the connections for the knees, you know, the knees um, are very loose on my copy, you know, sometimes they love to pop off during transformation. Um, they didn't pop off in this video, so <laughs> that's good. I mean, but uh, while I mean, other times I transform this guy, uh, the, the the legs do pop off very easily. But uh, yeah, that, that's the only thing that's a little bit loose on my copy of the toy. Otherwise, he is pretty solid in everything else. You know, um, he's got pretty good articulation for core class. Um, he's got a very fun transformation, a very easy one. And uh, he looks pretty good in both modes, and I gotta say, I'm very impressed with this one right here. Um, I wouldn't say he's my favorite core class from the Legacy United line so far, I, I don't think so. Um, but he's definitely up there with the, with the top tier core class figures um, in my in my collection. So, so yeah, but yeah, all in all, nicely done figure, and I'm really, really happy to f have finally gotten an Energon figure in my collection here. Yeah, so, now, if I were to rank this guy from a scale of 1 to 5, I think I'm just gonna give him... Mm, I'm just gonna give him a 3 out of 5. Yeah, 3 out of 5, 60%. I think that is fair for this little guy, um, because he's missed some points here and there. You know, um, so... Yeah, 3 out of 5. I think that, that, that should be... That should be good, 60%, so... Alright, so, um, yeah, there we go. I think that's pretty much it for today's video review. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you want to see more reviews on the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button down below. And make sure you smash that like button if you have enjoyed this review here. And of course, there will be a link to the Legacy Unite uh, a link to the Legacy playlist in the description down below so that you'll never miss any of the, uh, upcoming Legacy reviews. Or if you just missed any of my previous legacy reviews you can just check out that playlist at your own free time and uh yeah i think that's pretty much it for me to say so they have the transformers legacy united core class energon universe megatron and this is jj prime sending off peace out to the one and i'll see you guys next time all hail lord megatron greetings transformers fans my name is alita one i would like to thank you for watching jj prime reviews if you would like to see more reviews, live unboxings, or even tutorials on the channel, hit the subscribe button and smash that bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded on the channel. Thank you, and see you next time. Till all are one.